15 Luxury Services Rich People Use. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello, Aluxers. We're excited to have you back with us as today we're taking a look behind the curtain into the lives of the incredibly wealthy. Buckle up because you're about to embark on a journey you've never been on before. Now, before we start, we just want to make it clear there are levels of wealth. And if you've been following our channel for a while now, you should understand the difference between new money and old money. Although celebrities are seen as rich by the masses, most of the 0.1% have made their money the traditional way, starting a business, working hard, and steadily building their fortune. When it comes to generic wealth, rappers or athletes are not seen as peers, while people like Bezos and Jay-Z have been accepted into the business class of society. With this in mind, there are 15 services rich people use to make their lives easier and to make themselves richer. Here they are. Number 1. Assistance You might not know this, but there are multiple kinds of assistants. The most popular two are EAs and PAs. EA stands for Executive Assistant. This person acts like a buffer on all ongoing projects happening in the life of the super wealthy. This is the person who keeps the managers in check. They know the passwords, they can approve changes and are responsible for filtering out information that reaches the top. The second ones are PAs or personal assistant. This is the person that makes sure schedules are being fulfilled, that you're where you're supposed to be and on time. PAs are generally of a higher rank than the EAs because they have access to some of the more personal aspects of someone's life. Whatever you're dealing with, your PA and EA are the two people you're most likely to talk to first and they set up the following steps for you. These two usually work together. And just letting you Alexers know that this is no longer a luxury. There are many services out there that offer personal VAs or virtual assistants. You can find one on Freelancer.com, Upwork, or even Fiverr. For just a couple of bucks, you can outsource the boring stuff like sorting through emails, reaching out, or maintaining a calendar for these people. We've personally used VAs for a while now until things got a bit more complicated and then we decided to bring someone in. Number 2. Personal Chef you probably expected to see this one here because it's a staple of what used to be thought of as an exclusivity to the rich. Let us break down for you the fundamentals. Rich people value time over everything. Basically, every single service they can outsource to someone else to free up their time, they will justify the expenditure. Be very careful because this doesn't mean they just sit back and wait for people to do things for them. The only reason one should free up time is because they know they can use it for something better. Nutrition and the cooking process is one of those things. You still get to enjoy a meal with the family without the hustle of purchasing the raw products, deciding what is right to eat, learning the recipe, measuring the amounts of products you should use, as well as waiting near a stove or oven for things to reach the perfect temperature. With the widespread use of mobile internet access, the likes of Food Panda, Gojek, Uber Eats, Blue Apron, everybody can have food delivered. But for the upper middle class, there are alternatives. Just run a quick Google search for a chef for hire and you'll see a bunch of platforms waiting for you just to book someone. Number 3. Private Security Unless you're filthy rich, you've probably never even heard of the following brands. Centagon, Interarmored, or Armormax. These companies provide armored commercial vehicles, a market that, by the way, has been skyrocketing in the past decade. More and more rich people are buying bulletproof cars, not just as a risk for getting shot, but also in order to increase the chance of survival in any event. While entry-level rich will go for a private security from a fairly well-known company like G4S or CACI, higher profile individuals will work with someone like Brinks or DynCorp. These are more or less military or intelligence agents for hire depending on the need. Not every rich person needs a bodyguard though, it's actually one of the big secrets of the truly wealthy. Although their name might ring a bell, they're not so easily recognizable. Sure, you'll be able to spot Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, or Elon Musk in a crowd, but could you really recognize Lucas Walton if you were to ride the subway alongside him in London? The luxury in this case is they can afford the added protection. While traveling, they have a detail on them. If for any reason they're at a higher risk environment, they can afford to increase their odds of coming back. 
Number four, publicist and PR. Almost everything you read about rich people is the result of someone making an effort to shape their perceived image. These people make sure the world gets to see your best side. They push the media to tell your accomplishments and to do their best to bury any stain you might have on your resume. The thing is, it doesn't always work the way you expect it to, no matter how much money you have. Remember when Beyonce spent a ton of money trying to remove this photo from the internet? As you can tell, it definitely worked. Kanye also forced Getty Images to remove the photos of him in a skirt. To be precise, it was these photos. But not everybody is a Beyonce or a Kanye. The generic billionaire doesn't get that much out of a spotlight, so it's easier to curate what you want the world to see. And one of these services we expect to see more in the future has to do with companies that focus on erasing your internet footprint. We believe this is going to be a billion dollar plus industry as more and more people want to extend their privacy. And speaking of, number five, cyber security. Cyber and home security have become mainstream issues in the past years for the general population, but the rich have been paying a premium on this for decades. The reasoning is simple. The more money you have, the bigger targets you have on your back for the people who want some of it. Starting with your email, your calendar, your cloud accounts, to straight up home alarms and cameras. Smart locks, ring doorbells, and nest cameras have become essential to almost every developed household. Apart from those, absolutely everything you do online can be tracked. This is why the rich insist on using hard private servers. They have a closed internal network for business purposes. When traveling, they always use private networks. It's nobody's business what you're doing online when so much money is at stake. Fortunately, this type of service has become accessible to the average consumer. Although you may not be able to afford satellite phones and the type of security these people have, the least you could do is get yourself a virtual private network or a VPN. VPNs are a one-click app that hides your online activity from prying eyes. We've been using one for years. If you go to alox.com slash VPN, we have an exclusive deal for our community. We reached out to NordVPN, the VPN company we personally use, and because they want to support what we do, they're offering 70% off to you, the Aluxers, and an additional month for free. It's an amazing deal. Basically, you're getting three years of VPN services for the price of a single year. The price is so good, it's a no-brainer for anyone who wants to start taking their internet security seriously. Go to alux.com slash VPN. Number six private wealth management. You know how you're busy looking for opportunities to invest or make some extra money? The rich have not one person, but an entire team of people who do that for them. They search for the best opportunities available and make calculated decisions on behalf of the billionaire to continuously grow their wealth. The generic rich individual uses index funds like Vanguard to invest their money, which for most of you is probably your best option. That said, there are some people out there who are constantly beating the market. Those extra few percentage points at the end of the year make all the difference when you're trying to take over the world. For some of you, names like Bridgewater, Two Sigma, Renaissance, or Millennium might ring a bell, but unfortunately, these are not open to the public or require you to put down at least a couple hundred million dollars as a buy-in. For the super rich, there is a higher level of wealth management services out there. These funds have special divisions who act independently and serve the needs of the specific individual. It's not enough for them to just make you more money. They're actively changing the financial landscape in order to fit the vision of the investor. What happened in Venezuela recently is just one example of this. Number seven, access to private airstrips or closed off geographies. We mentioned the most valuable thing for the rich is time, right? This is the main reason why private jets are a thing. I need to get there now and not have to deal with the nonsense of traditional travel. There are numerous private airstrips available to the super wealthy in order to cut down on commute time. The second most valuable aspect in these people's lives is privacy and not being bothered by the world while they spend time with their family or reflect on what their next moves should be in life. There are private resorts out there which rely on invitation only and require a minimum net worth to join. A couple of notable names are Singapore's Crockford's Tower, Ladera Resort in the Caribbean, and the Hilltop Complex at Lucala in Fiji. As you can guess, there's a bunch of other secluded places that are not public information. 
This is one of the reasons why billionaires buy their own private island or helicopter access only villas high up in the mountains. You want to make it hard to run into people and enjoy some alone time. Number 8. Personal Item Tracker we know you were expecting legal services or whatever to make this list, but that was predictable. Of course, rich people have lawyers, but there are some things you didn't know they had, like a private tracker. Most of these people are investing into really rare items, be it art, watches, collectibles, you name it. The problem is, the most interesting ones are not put on eBay. They might pop up for sale in private deals once in a couple of decades. So what do you do to make sure you get a shot at bringing home the bacon? You hire someone to focus exclusively on tracking and getting you whatever your heart desires. These connoisseurs travel the world, visit private collections, network with high-profile individuals, and act like private buyers for their clients. The royal family of Saudi Arabia has been on a shopping spree for the past decade, using their newfound wealth to stock up on luxury art. The most notable private purchase being Salvador Mundi by Leonardo da Vinci, which was purchased for the exorbitant amount of $450 million, making it the most expensive painting ever sold. The offer was made anonymously, and only later was it revealed the agent was acting on behalf of the Saudi family. Side note here, since the purchase, the painting hasn't been public despite the initial intention of putting it on display in one of their museums, fueling a rumor the painting might actually be missing. The art community is following this closely, with many saying the painting might have been stolen, while others speculate it's hanging in the royal palace. Number 9. Personal Trainer and Medic What's the point of having all this amount of wealth if you don't get to enjoy it for as long as you can? As you'd expect, almost all of the rich take health incredibly seriously. Personal trainers take care of the fitness. Nutritionists work closely with private chefs to get the most out of what you eat. But it doesn't stop there. Let's say something were to happen, a stroke or a heart attack. You can't rely on calling 911 and wait for the ambulance to arrive. You're wasting valuable time. In cases like this, they rely on private medical services. You hit a panic button and a helicopter is dispatched immediately towards your location, with almost everything you could need to stabilize the patient until they can proceed to operate. These people want the very best and they can afford to pay for it. You need an organ transplant? These companies can accommodate that for you in under 48 hours, but it will cost you. No waiting in lines, just the best of the best. Many of these companies have private medical offices and laboratories waiting on top of skyscrapers in cities like New York or London for quick helicopter transfer. Remember how we mentioned armored cars earlier in this video? In the case of high-profile individuals like presidents, diplomats, or anyone who can afford to spend over $1.5 million on one of these vehicles, they come with a refrigerator of a bag of your blood preserved, just in case of emergency. Number 10 private therapist, priest, or life and meditation coach. When you have all the money in the world, you need to have your focus straight. This is one reason why most high net worth individuals keep a mindset advisor on payroll. This could be a therapist helping them overcome anxiety or childhood trauma, a priest providing spiritual guidance and clarity when it comes to what's waiting on the other side, or a professional life or meditation coach that helps you focus your mind and efforts toward your next big objectives. Before becoming a multi-millionaire himself, you could have gotten Jordan Peterson as your personal psychiatrist for somewhere between $200 to $500 an hour. Many tech CEOs have a spiritual advisor on board, to the point where it became a running joke on TV shows like Silicon Valley. But what happens when you're in a high-end negotiation or a high-profile athlete struggling to see how you can overcome the next hurdle and perform at 100% of your ability? You hire a professional coach like Tony Robbins. His coaching fee for one day is in the ballpark of $1 million. But we've heard of cases where $250,000 was enough. When it comes to meditation coaches, the entry-level higher-end ones start at $150 per session and the sky is the limit as long as the client can afford it, with the average cost being between $500 and $2,000 per week. And in case you didn't know, four out of five successful people have a daily meditation practice in their life. Business-focused meditation has been incredibly valuable to us personally, so we wanted to make this luxury previously reserved to the rich available to everyone. 
We spend over one year stripping away all the nonsense, talking to international experts and gurus, mixing it with what has worked for us in order to create mind mastery. A 21-day meditation program where you're getting everything they're getting at a fraction of the cost and from the comfort of your own home. Over 1,000 people have gone through this experience so far and the feedback speaks for itself. It's the most valuable product we've ever created and it's available at alux.com slash mindmastery. For those of you looking to install this new skill in your portfolio of abilities, use the promo code ALUXER at checkout and you'll get 25% off. For less than $200, you're getting at least the same amount of value the rich are paying thousands for. Check it out at alux.com slash mindmastery. Number 11. Life and property insurance. Yeah, yeah, we know. You have life and home insurance as well, so what's the big deal? Well, your insurance doesn't cover kidnappings, does it? The rich have a different set of privileges coming with their subscription, including the cost of professional negotiators and SWAT teams in place to handle this type of situation. The same thing happens if one of your priceless items gets stolen or is at risk to be lost. Let's say all hell breaks loose. Floods, riots, tornadoes, anything you can imagine is hitting the region where you live or where your private collection is. The insurance agency will send helicopters with highly trained individuals to the danger zones to transport your art or possessions out of the region. Number 12. Country Clubs and Memberships to Private Groups What's the big deal with country clubs and private groups? Basically, it's a private networking setting for the rich. Yes, you get the tennis courts, the spa, the cigars, and all of that. But that's not why most people join one. It's hard to make friends when you're rich because almost nobody can relate to your struggles and everybody wants something from you. So country clubs popped up as a setting for similar individuals to get together. You know how your drunk loser friends spend time at the local pub? It's like that, only you're meeting potential business partners. Many billionaires have done bigger deals on the golf course than they've done in the boardroom. This is why rich people are obsessed with golf. You spend your day in nature, walking around talking to people who are there for the same reasons as you, to enjoy oneself and make each other richer. Number 13. Elite Nannies You would not believe just how competitive the premium elite nanny market is. Billionaires are fighting over specific nannies because once you get the right one, it's a multiple year commitment. It's usually a closed circuit with referrals being the most valuable hiring criteria. This person will spend most of their time with your children, supplementing the gaps you're leaving. Nannies are not just babysitters, they're professional coaches, speak three languages or more, provide emotional support and the tools necessary for the child to evolve in the direction set by the parent. These nannies earn over $100,000 a year, don't have to pay rent or food, they spend most of their time in mansions and luxury cars. If you don't speak Mandarin or at least have an MA from a prestigious university, don't bother applying for the job. Although this might seem like an incredible job opportunity, think of it like this. The rich are paying someone who already has an incredible set of skills to trade their time and some of their best years for the success of their children. Number 14. Multiple Passports and Offshore Private Banking This is where things get interesting, or more on the gray side of things. One of the first things rich people do is secure a second or third passport. This allows them to travel to different countries that might be restricted under your main nationality. This is usually very lucrative for business. You've worked hard for your money and just want to make sure that no matter what happens, you and your family will be taken care of. This is how private banking services have popped up in offshore jurisdictions. Panama has been a big one until the recent scandal, but did you notice how all of it went away and nobody's talking about it anymore? Seychelles, Cyprus, Belize, Malta, British Virgin Islands, and more, just to name a few. For years, Hong Kong has been the preferred spot for doing business in Asia. You'd set up a company in Hong Kong, low to almost no taxes, and a large marketplace waiting to be conquered. The rich have used this type of financial instruments to set up nest eggs for dark days, to purchase property without declaring it or minimize taxes. 
Apple, Google and Facebook are doing it transparently by paying the bulk of their taxes in Ireland because they are lower than the US. If we were to push things to the limit, ten to twenty thousand dollars in a place like Belize will buy you a new identity, new name, new birth certificate and everything. You just have to know who to ask. Number 15. High Net Worth Dating a big problem for rich individuals is dating. You simply don't have time to do it the same way everybody else does, since you're basically trapped in running the portfolio of companies you have under your belt. So what do they do? The most generic case is you read or see someone at an event that sparks your interest. Then you ask your PA to talk to the other person's PA to set up a meeting. You know, my people talking to your people to set up a date. Come to think of it, it's not that different from high school, is it? Only there's more money involved. But a bit of a market insight here, it's a lot more difficult for high net worth women to find someone than men. It has to do with age, net worth, and social requirements. As feminist as we'd like the world to be, women still desire men who are at least as capable as them, if not more. This isn't a big problem when you're young and in the middle class, but when you're 38, your net worth is over $50 million and work at least 60 hours a week, your dating pool dries up pretty fast. As a solution to this problem, dating agencies create events where high-profile individuals looking for love get to mingle. It might sound cringy, but for some people they work. Those balls and charity galas are also an excuse to meet people. That's why the rich show up. Now, looking back on this list, you realize it's a lot more complicated being rich than it seems, right? Which brings us to something we really wanted to ask you. If you were to get one of these luxury services in your life, which would you pick? The obvious one would be the wealth management service, but we're curious if you see even more value in some of the other ones. And of course, as a thank you for consistently showing up to these Sunday motivational videos and watching them until the end, you get your bonus. Number 16. The rich pay according to the value of their own time not of the product or service. Some of you might be shocked to hear just how much some people spend on different services, but you're not seeing the world from their perspective. Average people think about costs in terms of money, while the rich think about them in terms of time. The moment you understand and begin to think about life like this, everything changes. Let us explain. When you're buying a new car, you're looking at the price tag as, let's say, $20,000. The rich look at it as, how much effort and time do I need to put in to afford said car? If you're making only $40,000 a year, that car represents six months of work or more if you were to take into account the cost of living and everything else. That new handbag, that's 30 hours. That new watch, another 40 hours. This is why people are outraged when Jeff Bezos pays $80 million for three penthouses in Manhattan, without realizing that's less money than he earns in a day. If you could buy a house with the money you make in one day, would you worry that you might overpay for it? Of course not. The nugget of gold we want to give you, the true Aluxers, at the end of this video is the term ROT, return on time. We really want you to calculate it and see just how much your time is worth. You might be thinking you earn $15 an hour, but that's not really the case because you're only working a third of the day. The math is fairly simple. Take how much money you've earned in the last month and divide it by 730. This is the true current value of an hour of your time. In order to make millions of dollars per year, that number needs to go over $110 per hour. This is probably the first time in your life you're realizing just how far you are from someone who's only making a million dollars per year, which these days is seen as upper middle class, not even rich. Take this as a wake up call, Aluxer, and realize that doing what you're currently doing will not get you this type of result you're looking for. We want to take this opportunity to congratulate you on making it this far, and please write ROT in the comments. That way, we know something clicked with you and you found value in this bonus. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.